a program to get people the help they need in a mental health crisis instead of sending Denver police to the scene has been a big success. And now Denver hopes to expand those services so people get immediate help and can also connect with long-term assistance. Alan Janae with more right now. And Alan, this would be a multi-million dollar partnership. Well, think about it, Jim. This Star Van program, Support Team Assisted Response, has taken 6,000 calls over the past year and a half. And remember, police would have taken most of those calls had they not been in existence. Now, they have learned a few things, both about intervention and about getting people long term help, which is harder. On the streets of Denver every day are people in crisis. Those the Star Van might help. Lucas Cool and Nancy Adamson arrived from Nebraska three months ago. Oh, yeah, I have bipolar and ADHD. They're living in the streets. Have you been able to help connect with the, the people who can help you with any of your mental health issues? Not yet. There is a way of life for people who have a hard time getting out. But it's a culture of prisons, of the streets, of poverty, unhoused. Rudy Gonzalez heads Servicios de la Raza that will help oversee the new programs. Someone showing up to de-escalate. Uh, OK, what are your needs now? Let's get those met. I think we knew even from the get-go that this was going to be needed. Tristan Sanders helps run the Star Van program. We don't want the Star Van responding to somebody on South Federal and referring them to services in Park Hill. The new idea is more follow-up. Whether it be linkage to care, case management, whether it be workforce development or emergency services or behavioral health care or uh, benefits enrollment, on and on and on. What are called wraparound services to help the program start changing lives. Because it is going to be a, a deterrent to crime. It will serve as a deterrent to poverty, to hopelessness, to homelessness. It will serve as that deterrent to crisis. Well, city council on this night gave approval to $2.3 million to get this program started. Servicio de la Raza will begin to partner with other agencies to reach out to various parts of the community in different areas to include services for people in the African-American community, the Asian community, the Muslim community, and the Native American community. In Denver, I'm Alan Janae covering Colorado First.